I know we showed and talked about this a million times already but this means a lot to us because it's the second to last plank being installed so we're really really excited we were without wood for too long and now we can finally start shutting our hole hi I'm Ben and I'm MP and we just bought a boat that needs a little bit of work done we are both rookies when it comes to boat ownership and carpentry so this is going to be a steep learning curve. Luckily, we found an amazing team of shipwrights who accepted the mission of bringing our boat back to life and are now rebuilding a bow with hand tools, ancient knowledge and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish us luck! and he was sending our shoe plank because it had a little bit some like uh, fluffiness from the wood around the nails and he was really upset about it so it takes me one minute to send it and it will look a lot nicer so stop everything and just let me do it we really love how he works he's amazing you're amazing Nezu So what's happening there? Do you guys remember? That's the button being put, the first gear, so they can really measure how the plank will be. It's been a while since the last time we showed this because so much has happened between the last plank we showed and this one because we had to remove all the beams, even the housing area, all that bag, everything changed so much. So now we're back to planking. We're not gonna show in detail because you already know it by heart but it's nice to remember how it's done even for us we're really enjoying the process again and from here from the button it goes to the plank they'll take all the measurements again cut it prepare it and bring to the boat we got a comment recently asking who is gonna be the first walking the plank I guess I was the chosen one. Thank you. 
what's happening now? Is that our last plank? Yeah! Except for the, it's our last five centimeter plank. Real yeah. plank. Then... And we have another six centimeter plank here, which leads into the ninth. Exactly. So this is the last plank plank, and then we'll need the counter shear plank over there. And... Don't tell them, but I'm actually just pretending. No one can tell us. just nailed in now we are making the holes for the screw and then the last plank is installed of course there's still that gap but we don't consider that a plank because it's a counter shear plank so it's not just a normal plank so the last normal plank done can you see i love your picasso Alright, so this is going to be a tabika. It is going to be a horizontal plank, 10 centimeters thick, about 40 centimeters wide, that is going to go all along around the boat on top of the shear plank, holding the shear plank, the tips of the frames and the beams together. Now, that's one uh, purpose of it. The other one is the reason we're having such a thick one is it's very common here to have a kind of a bash roof rail so this will be the most lateral part of the boat sticking out by quite a bit if ever something or someone or us were to hit anything it would hit here first and as it's 10 centimeters thick it won't have such a bad effect as if it was hitting the shear plank directly so what's going to happen is they're now measuring where the cabezas are going to go which are the extensions of the frames going up to the rail which is going to hold on all the running rigging of our sails so well running rigging so that's another reason for this is this is going to hold those columns those cabezos up which has to have immense structure and also the border falsa which is going to be the gunwale and that's what this is the base of so as you can see on top here everything has been prepared it's been planed down to the height it has to be and it's also symmetrical on both sides uh, that's why it wasn't painted for a very long time some of it was some of it wasn't now it's got a nice layer of primer on top because we're ready to receive this tabika that will go on top of here and sticking out a bit over here i hope the sun isn't blinding you let me have a look no it's okay i think um as you can see there's quite a gap in the middle here so what we're going to do is we're going to cork it just so we've got well cork it so we've got one centimeter or so above the corking which is still gap and fill it with araldici which here is like a it's a bicomponental epoxy that you mix with sawdust and it'll imitate the effect of wood as it will be quite flexible as well with the sawdust and that's going to cover this hole and then we can start putting the tabika on top Lots of boat builders do the carpentry work as well as the caulking. However, here it's very common that a caulker is a job by itself. And I've seen that as well, where Samson mentioned it in one of his videos, that a caulker only corks. It's very, it's the old way of doing it, but it's also very common here now. So 
here he's helping us with the boat but he's literally only a corker there are also people who only do the painting on the boats there are people who only do masts and stuff like that so we are very happy to have him here because i'm just looking now on the speed he does this corking and the fluent how fluent the movement is it's amazing so i'm going to keep watching and hopefully when it comes to corking the boat i'll give it a go and not allow us to sink Also, I just asked him and he's been corking for 40 years, 4-0. So looking at the speed he does this, it, it makes sense why he's so good at this. compound is going well because we're working with two of us we are going to have to go down a few times to go make some more of it over here it looks like he's still got another meter or so but I don't know less than an hour for sure he's done the whole boat so it's very impressive So we require a lot of 10 centimeter thick timbers in order to make the tabika to go on top of the shear plank. However, if you look over here, so here is an example of how wood can look quite solid on the outside. But if you turn it over, you can see why we took this off and what it is on top of. And this is the old tabika. It was the bumper here, that's the outside. And this is gonna be the new one. So before, after before and after. So we are planing and cutting a lot and creating a ton of sawdust and that's been removed many times over. So what they've come up with to use the volume of the sawdust is Jack is busy sewing up some old, I think like some soil bags or something uh, to make them really strong. Then over here they're mixing sawdust, sorry it's loud, hang on. Over there, they're mixing sawdust with cement and stones and stuff that weighs the sawdust down. They get laid as like, they're making a little break, a little dam, because every time this trailer, this crib goes up and down, they have to clear all the dirt around it. And they always scoop it over to this side or to that side. But without this dam, it just keeps sliding down every time. So what they're doing now is they're creating this barrier that they can just tip, dig up all the dirt that's in there over here and it will not slide back down into there so this tabika is now on the boat it almost it feels good because it's like we've got a piece of deck already which technically it is so this part connects the shear plank with the frames and the beams and it's also preventing you can see it sticks over here probably about 10 centimeters against any bashes so it holds everything together and it's super strong in case something does hit it or we might hit something hopefully not but as you can see they've been fastened onto every single beam over here with a quarter inch threaded bar washers and nuts again uh, with some sicker flex and 
some primer inside there as well. So what's happening right now is these cabezos are going to be like the columns coming up over here, holding the gun gunwheel on, uh, which is going to hold the rail, which is probably about this high, all along the boat. So now you can actually also see why we needed this uh, brasola and the tabika before we can start laying the deck because we need to know the distances between both so we might be able to start working on a bit of decking here at the bow but I think it's worth waiting for this whole tabika to be put on and on the other side as well so we really know where the deck has to go up to here up to there up to here and so on Impressive, but what I mainly find impressive is I was just looking down these, uh, these holes and they're not just made in the middle of this board plank. So, what's actually done is I'll show you they actually go and they meet nicely with the inside of the planks because these cabezos are not an example. It will, it will be straight here and it will be at an angle down there so they'll be at a, like a like this so what happens is each one of them will be fastened onto the contra the contra cintado and the cintado so the shear plank and the second biggest plank six centimeters and nine centimeters that's why these are also bigger than the rest right so we could have just done five centimeters anywhere but these two have a significant purpose of holding this in place and also hold the cabezas in place which hold up the bulwark 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 is it a gunwale bulwark anyway so that's what i was just going to say is that i'm super impressed with how they managed to find exactly where to chisel down to to get exactly flush with the inside of the planks here we have Zach and Elio working on the holes they are going to fit the cabezos inside the cabezos are well the words in Portuguese but it's the continuation of the frames on top of the deck level so those things there are called the cabezos we have to do 52 of those holes over there it's gonna take a little long but we are going to do it somehow and we also have here Nazu and Nico working on the columns they are going to hold the roof of our housing area and yeah we also have to do a couple of those 
Look at that and that. We don't have a floating roof anymore. And this feels great. <laughs> yes, I did see this thing. So we already have two columns in place. Well, actually one is being taken down so we can just paint the layers, the wood on wood. We are going to put one more here at the front, at the forward area of this wall because we are going to put maybe two windows in, one on each side. So we've got space to put another one in the middle. So this maybe gave you a little taste. I mean, of course, they're still going to be fastened of what the rest of the boat is going to look like. We still have to decide where they have to go like where we're going to have windows, where we're going to have walls, where we, can, where we need the open space. We've got all that all on drawing. We're still thinking about it to be like precise, but this is what they're going to be like. So it's going to be covering this brassola completely. Some of it will be inside the brassola and they'll be coming up and holding up the beams. And some of the columns will go all the way to the floor. So we have longer ones columns are now in place so there are four they are in place and the gravity of the roof is actually holding them in, in place what we still need to do is put uh, fasten them with a 3 8 uh, stainless steel bars uh, washers and nuts and what's happening now is over here they are opening some space for a timber to come you can see it starts over here and it goes a lot further back and it's gonna follow the whole uh, what is it so it's gonna go all the way back and it's gonna follow the whole tabika it's a, gonna be a little plank that's gonna make sure that we can cork in between the deck and the tabika without the corking falling through or sticking out the bottom we just got a call from the wood shop saying that they have two boards of six centimeters thick which is where we need to finally shut our hole the thing is they're both four and a half meters long and we're going to measure right now 
if they'll work for us and this is a big moment because if they work we might shut our hole this week we cannot believe it so now the guys are measuring and it's the time of truth let's see this one is 520 what we need let's check the other side but i'm already disappointed I'm afraid this one's also quite a long one. Yeah. Okay, okay, 580. So this one, one is 580. Meters. Next week there is one of six meters arriving, but only one. Ah, oh, so next week we are getting a six meters one that we can use here. But then we'll have still one plank to shut the hole. I think it's a curse or something. Are you the person who curses us so we cannot shut our hole? Shame on you. Anyway, one plank's better than nothing. That's how we've been doing it recently. So we needed 10 planks and we managed to get three. Okay, then we only needed seven more. Okay, only seven. We got four planks. Okay, now we need three more. And so on. So we'll have to wait for that last one to arrive. We are this close, come on! Yeah, I'm going to go to the Before we say bye and see you next week, Yes, you guessed right. It's time to thank and welcome the people who joined us on Patreon and also for the PayPal donations that we received. So thank you so much. Pedro, John, Kathleen, Chris, Mike, John, Roger and Larry. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs>